perfect timing. I think my loaf of bread is just about done. <laughs> iCarly has been one of the most successful teen shows Nickelodeon has launched in the past that garnered a lot of views from its initial showing up to its final season. It was a nominee for an Emmy Award under the category of Outstanding Children's Program, despite receiving mixed reviews. For those of you who haven't seen the show on television and are taking an interest in it, iCarly is an American teen show that premiered in September 2007 at Nickelodeon. Created by Dan Schneider, it tells the story of Carly Shay, just your normal teenager in Seattle who lives with her brother Spencer, but it all took a turn when Carly and her best friend, Sam Puckett, became internet sensations. With the growing internet fame, Carly decided to create her show and named it iCarly, with the help of her two best friends, Sam and Freddie. For today's episodes, we will be sharing with you the iCarly cast. Where are they now in 2021? So stay tuned to know more. Also, before we dive into the topic, make sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel with the notifications turned on for more content and also so you won't miss any of our new releases. Now, back to the topic iCarly, a series way ahead of its time. The show kicks off when Carly and her best friend Sam improvise a comedy skit during a school talent show audition, which was unknowingly being filmed by their other friend, Freddie, the tech-savvy one of the trio. Freddie posted this recording online, which garnered a lot of positive attention. Seeing the girls' chemistry and wisecracks, as a result, viewers clamored for more, which prompted Carly and her friends to create her own show, which she entitled iCarly. With growing fame and an online audience to entertain, Carly and her friends balanced this routine along with their personal lives, but of course, it's paired up with wacky situations. iCarly ran for six seasons, starting on September 8, 2007, until November 23, 2012 for its final season. The first five seasons were filmed at Nickelodeon on Sunset. Then, for its final season, it relocated to KTLA Studios in Hollywood. In late 2020, it was announced that iCarly will be rebooted and to air exclusively on Paramount Plus streaming devices. Devices. Three of its stars, Cosgrove, Cress, and Train are reunited on the red carpet at the Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Award. Cosgrove shared her excitement through a virtual audience via Entertainment Tonight, saying, This is so great to be back here and together again with you guys, and also our show is coming back. Trainer continued, We need to celebrate! I'm thinking balloons, fireworks, t-shirt cannons, confetti in the shape of our faces, and then we throw an all-night pizza party paid for by someone else. However, Chris chipped in with an even better idea, stating, That all sounds good, or we do something even cooler, we hand out a blimp. But what have been the actors up to since the show ended last 2012? Here, we will know about their past and current projects, as well as if they're reprising their roles or not. Miranda Cosgrove Playing the popular role in the series, Miranda Cosgrove has been in the acting industry since a young age and has also won several accolades for her acting skills. Aside from that, she also has songs credited under her name. At the age of seven, she was doing TV commercials, but it was not until 2003 when she landed the role of Summer Hathaway in the comedy film School of Rock, where she starred alongside Jack Black. Did she gain international attention. With the film's success, she garnered enough attention for her to be cast as Megan Parker in Nickelodeon's TV sitcom Drake and Josh. When Drake and Josh ended, she got her own show, iCarly, and she's also set to star in the reboot under Paramount+. Plus. When the show ended, Cosgrove found herself cast in a TV series in 2013 entitled Girlfriend in a Coma based on a novel of the same name by Douglas Copeland. However, the project was later cancelled due to complications. In 2015, she landed the lead role in a horror film entitled The Intruders, where she starred alongside Austin Butler. The same year, she was cast in the comedy pilot Crowded, but the show only lasted for one season. She has been hosting the CBS series Mission Unstoppable with Miranda Cosgrove since 2019, and the show was the recipient of two Daytime Emmy Awards in 2020. Aside from acting, she has also lent her voice to give life to the character of Margot in the Despicable Me franchise. In 2008, Cosgrove released a four-track soundtrack of the iCarly series, all of which she performed. The following year, in 2009, she released her debut EP entitled About You Now. The EP was subsequently followed by her debut album release in 2010, called Sparks Fly. Her second EP was released in 2010, with the lead single written by Avril Lavigne, entitled Dancing Crazy. Jeanette McCurdy Co-hosting the iCarly show is her best friend, Sam Puckett, played by Jeanette McCurdy. Before she landed the role of Carly's best friend, Sam, McCurdy was also busy and has experience working on other sitcoms, such as Malcolm in the Middle, Zoe 101, Lincoln Heights, True Jackson, VP, and Victorious. 
After iCarly ended, she had her own spin-off series entitled Sam and Cat, which ran shortly from 2013 to 2014, where she worked alongside her co-stars in iCarly. Aside from acting, she also got busy and entered the music industry. While working on iCarly and she independently released her debut single entitled So Close in 2009. Her debut EP was released the following year in 2010 entitled Not That Far Away, and it was not until 2012 when she released her second EP and finally released her debut album later that same year. Come 2017, McCurdy stopped acting and decided to pursue a career in writing and directing. It was not until March 2020 when she made her comeback in acting via her one-woman tragedy comedy called I'm Glad My Mom Died in theaters in New York and Los Angeles. However, due to the global health situation, her show got postponed. McCurdy has stated in her podcast entitled Empty Inside that she no longer intends to return to acting, so we won't be seeing her on the iCarly reboot. Nathan Kress Next on the list, we have Carly and Sam's other their best friend, Freddie Benson, portrayed by Nathan Kress. He is also included in the reboot of iCarly that Paramount Plus has announced. Long before he made it to iCarly, Kress has been making rounds as a model for various print ads as well as performing in numerous commercials and voiceover roles, the most notable of which was his dual role as the voices of Easy and Tough Pup in the 1998 feature film Babe, Pig in the City. Back when he was four, Kress has shown an extraordinary talent of memorizing and reenacting shows on TV, which prompted his mother to take him to an open cattle call showcase. He made his first TV appearance and a comedy sketch on Jimmy Kimmel Live, and from there, Kress would continue making an appearance in various comedy sketches on the show. He also made an appearance on other shows such as House, Standoff, Without a Trace, and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Like Cosgrove, he landed a role on Nickelodeon's Drake and Josh, which led him to be a staple character in the spin-off series. Aside from iCarly, Kress also guest starred in an episode of CSI Crime Scene Investigation during their 10th season. When iCarly ended, he found himself loaded with work, since he was also also part of the cast of Salmon Cat and made his major film debut with Into the Storm in 2014, while also having a major role in the web show video game High School as The New Law in the same year. In 2015, he made his directing debut with the American comedy TV series Henry Danger. Come 2019, he started a podcast he called Radioactive Dads alongside Brett Davern. Jerry Trainer. And last but not least, we have Jerry Trainer Playing the role of Carly's brother and legal guardian, Spencer Shea is the actor, comedian, and musician Trainer, who's also set to return in the Paramount Plus reboot. Before he was cast in I, Carly, Trainer has been making guest appearances on various shows and films, with his first role as Eric in the MTV series Undressed. He also guest starred in Law & Order True Crime, Angel, and Malcolm in the Middle, as well as in films such as the sci-fi drama Donnie Darko and the cheerleader comedy Bring It On Again. Trainer also has had a reoccurring role in Drake and Josh as Crazy Steve, a movie theater worker. Before landing the role of Spencer Shea and iCarly, he was also included as one of the voice cast in the animated series Tough Puppy, where he lent his voice to give life to the character of Dudley Puppy. For his role in iCarly, he won three Kids Choice Awards and was nominated for a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Performer in an Animated Program in Tough Puppy. In 2013, he was cast in the short-lived series Wendell and Vinny, and two years later formed the band Nice Enough People in 2015. He plays bass for the group, and they released their first EP in 2016 entitled Hanover Hideaway. Come 2018, he was cast in the film Cover Versions, which was written and directed by renowned and award-winning filmmaker Todd Berger. The film was acquired for distribution by Sony Pictures and premiered at the 2018 Palm Springs Film Festival, with his performance being praised as edgy and thought-provoking. He and Michael Gorman starred in a comedy web series entitled The Porch, which can be viewed on YouTube. And with that, we're concluding today's topic on the whereabouts of the cast of the iCarly show in 2021. Although there haven't been any announcements regarding the reboot of the series, we'll just wait and see until more details are released. For more videos like these, please hit that like button on our video and make sure to subscribe to our channel with the notifications turned on so you won't miss any of our new releases. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time!